we got mixed feelings for your first card new love and then we have pregnant so leo some of you guys may have mixed feelings about somebody maybe you feel like maybe you could be stuck at a crossroads about whether you should start a new life by walking away or whether you should let this person stay in your life and create new leo because like I said, y'all may have mixed feelings for this person, but you just don't know whether you should walk away or whether you should give this person another chance, Leo, because some of y'all could be pregnant. And at the same time, you want more. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want more out of a relationship or you just want more out of life, period, Leo. I feel like y'all could be at a crossroads about that, you know, because you really just don't know on whether you should give this person another chance or not. And if you was a lot on the stay, Will they make your life better? You see what I'm saying? But we do have the King of Pentacles right here, Leo. But I feel like, yeah, y'all looking for a provider, Leo. Y'all looking for somebody who is generous with their time, you know, with their with their material life, you know, take you somewhere or buy you gifts. And you just want more of a person, Leo. And that's why you have these mixed feelings about whether you should take this person in, Leo, or not. Because you want more out of a relationship. I am cool. You're saying the same thing. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like you get to the point where you just feel like you need to make a decision about what you need. What Leo need. What is going to make Leo happy. Because we got the nine of cups right here. I just feel like at this point you think about your own happiness. Because... Um, I guess dealing with this particular person, you feel like they can't give you what you want. So you just like back and forth about whether you should start a life with this person or move on. But some of y'all also be stuck because of you could be pregnant or you could have kids with this person. So it's like, you know, should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? But I also want this. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that. But y'all need to use y'all intuition. Leo Spirit is saying that. Y'all need to use your intuition. Some of y'all are using your intuition ab about this decision. The rest of you guys could just be saying that spirit wants you to use your intuition. Because some of y'all still have feelings for this person. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could be stuck on trying to make a decision whether you want to make... It's like a head over heart decision. You know what I'm saying? But you also want somebody that actually care about you. Enough to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Or like to provide in a way. But I just feel like a lot of you guys is just getting sick and tired of the same old with this person, Leo. And you could just, you know, you just may not know what to do. But it's saying, once again, you know what to do, Spirit saying. You know exactly what to do. You need to focus on what makes you happy. What else do we have? I think I just feel like a lot of you guys are sick and tired of this person. Conflict and defeat reversed. I feel like you're trying to avoid. Some of y'all could be trying to avoid from making this decision. Maybe because you're so conflicted about making this decision, Leo. You could just be trying to avoid from making a decision altogether. But it's, you're not getting nowhere, Leo. You're not getting nowhere in this relationship, Spirit is saying. You're not getting nowhere. We got rest and rejuvenate. Some of y'all is having a hard time actually, you know, getting some sleep. You're tired. You're completely tired of this person, this relationship with this person. And you're, you're very restless at this point, Leo. Y'all need to get y'all, y'all need to take care of y'all. So some of y'all has got to the point, this person may stress you out to the point where you may have not been really taking care of yourself. For an example, maybe you have not been eating good. You know, maybe you have not been you know getting your hair done maybe your nails done or maybe you have not been getting dressed maybe you're not outside like you used to like it's like <clears throat> i'm losing my voice but it's like you you need to get back to leo you need to get back to what makes leo happy you see what i'm saying because some of y'all even if you are dealing with this person leo in a, or in a relationship with this person some of y'all's person only doing what makes them happy so it's time for you to do what makes you happy. You see what I'm saying? 
But for some reason, some of y'all could be avoiding from making this decision. You know, this I, I feel like you know, this whole situation with this person is just so draining to you. To the point where you may have lost yourself a little bit. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to see. What else do we have for my lovely Leos? What else do we have for Leos? What else do we have? Clear intuitive messages. It's like, Leo, what you really want, you can't have it with this person. That Maybe that's how you're looking at it, you know? But at the same time, you don't know if you should move on because you have this kid or these children with this person. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you do have feelings for this person. But in the physical, they're not giving you that life that you want. You see what I'm saying? But they're doing what's best for them. Wow, we got strength card reversed. Somebody is ending up letting go of something or someone in a situation. Yep, you eventually letting go, Leo. You was holding on to this. Um, you've been avoiding from making this decision for a while now. But I am seeing that after being conflicted for so long, you finally, you know, put it beside you and realize that it's time to let go. Because it's, like I said, the situation is making you weak. It's, it's, it's draining your spirit. It's draining you in general, Leo. And um, it's just slowing you down. It, it really is. You feel like you're not getting nowhere. So you got up out of that fantasy land with this person, Leo. You have, a, I have got up out of this because you're fed up. You're restless. You're tired. When you get, listen, I'm hearing tired of being, I'm, I'm hearing Tired of being sick and tired. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, you ain't being treated right. You just feel like it's unfair to be here, you know, feeling this way with this person and going through this and you not happy. Like, you just feel like it's just not right. Y'all, listen, y'all not right. This, your spirit ain't right because of this person. It's time to completely let go of this person. Decision has been made that you're getting ready to leave this person. Some of y'all definitely married, and maybe you could be filing for divorce. The rest of y'all, you're just leaving because of the lack of, you know, fairness in this relationship. It, this person ain't treating you right, basically. And I just keep hearing I'm tired of being sick and tired with this person, Leo. Um, three of Pentacles right here. So some of y'all, after this situation may end, right? Maybe you get rid of this person <clears throat> you're seeing. You may come together. Um, but some of y'all's person may try to work work it out with you, Leo. Um, it's also saying that some of y'all could be getting a new job once you let this person go. Maybe you could be partnering up with somebody else in business or work. Um, or it could be simple fact that you are working with working like maybe you I'm hearing this compromise situation maybe because like I said y'all got kids so they eventually have to be in your life some way or way or another right and um yeah I just felt like you're cutting up all the BS with this person anything else is irrelevant that's what I, exactly what I just heard and you are moving out of this situation unapologetically because Look, it's the pinnacles because it's not solid. It's not what it is that you really, really want. And you just feel like there's no potential there. If anything, I'm hearing you were struggling. Some of y'all was in struggle love with this person. I am hearing that. I'm hearing struggle love. And you want something that's going to present the life that you want, Leo. Because you struggle in this love for way too long. You realize that you was deceiving yourself, staying stuck in this with this Eight of Swords. And you was the only one giving in this situation. Some of y'all definitely was overgiving yourself in this situation. Period. Like, everything. You, some of y'all was giving this person royal treatment. That's exactly what I just heard. Somebody was giving somebody royal treatment. And you, and you, you misjudged the situation. Declining this person, no more second chances. Y'all are not giving this person 
another chance because like I said, you want what you want in your life. You don't want, you don't have to put up with this if you don't want to. If you're not happy, if it's draining your energy, if it's draining your resources, your whatever it is, I just felt like it's time to go. It's time to go. The potential, you no longer see it there anymore. You you was in a fantasy land with this person. Like I said, because at the beginning I said y'all got mixed feelings for this person, but y'all don't know if y'all should stay or whether y'all should go because you have kids with this person. But spirit always say, listen to your intuition. What is it? Facts over feelings. You know, or you, or you focus on your happiness or you focus on their happiness. It's time to focus on your own happiness so you can take care of yourself. Because some of y'all have not been resting. You're not having eating right. You're not have been, you know, y'all been lacking in some form of department in your life, Leo, where... It was it was taking a toll over you. It was just draining you, and and you, everything was just so out of balance. And it just wasn't fair. Over the simple fact that you had to go through that while this person get the royal treatment. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the energy that I'm picking up on. But I'm gonna pull some more cards for y'all, Leo. What else do we have? Yeah, I just feel like unapologetically, you're up out of there. Like, you have to take your feelings out of it, and it's crazy, because that's exactly what I'm seeing that you do. First, you come you come from the Queen of Cups, then you come to the Seven of Cups reverse, and then you come to the Knight of Cups reverse. You come from being in love to getting out of that illusion of being in love with this person and being in fantasy land to unapologetically getting up out of it, take, getting your feelings out of, out of it fast. So, it's like, you realize that you wasn't in love with this person like you thought you was. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all may have just been infatuated with this person. That's why you had mixed signals because you had mixed feelings about them because maybe they look good on the outside, but nah, material-wise, they couldn't give you what you wanted. They couldn't give you what you wanted. What else do we have, Spirit? So, yeah. Wow. Then I say y'all almost lost yourself or kind of did. It's just like y'all found yourself now. It's like I'm hearing after losing yourself, you finally find yourself. You finally take care of yourself. You finally be selfish with, with Leo. You know, y'all going to be glowing once you walk away from this person, Leo. I like this energy. This reminds me of Sagittarius energy a little bit. This It's like the Knot of Pentacles, I think, but for some reason, it reminds me of, this, of Sagittarius. Some of y'all could have Sagittarius in your chart because I heard Sagittarius. That's why I say reminds me of Sagittarius in a way. Um, maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart or maybe you are a Saggy, but you could have Leo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe you could be cross-watching. But I am seeing that y'all eventually find yourself and rebuild your self-confidence back up again. You know what I'm saying, Leo? And I like this energy. I really do. Wow. We got inspiration. So, yeah, I feel like this is a chance for you to, you know, help other people. Some of y'all, people do look up to you because they see you have got out of a situation. Um, Some of y'all, I'm, I'm here so many messages at one point, I, more than once. I hate that. And then I end up again. Okay. Some of y'all, y'all, okay, there is people that is inspired by your strength, Leo. Leo. That's exactly what I just heard. There's people that see the things that you have went through, Leo, and they really look up to you. Because some of y'all could be influencers. Maybe you told your story on social media or whatever. But I am getting this energy where you could... I'm also here. I'm hearing so many messages at one time. It drives me nuts sometimes. But I'm hearing soul searching. That's what I heard. You guys been doing a lot of soul searching. You guys are an inspiration to other people. Some of y'all can have your own platforms or getting ready to have your own platforms. And you will be an inspiration to other people. Um, but this is something that you may have always wanted to do, Leo, deep down inside. But it's like as soon as you gain your power and your strength back, bang, you come out with a you come out with a bang. You know what I'm saying? And it's because your soul knows what it is that you really want, not only in a relationship, but in life, period. You see what I'm saying, Leo? But it's like you became yourself. You are being your true, authentic self now. You feel more comfortable where you could just lay down your hair and just be free and just do what what makes Leo happy. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Listen, I say y'all are 
and power. Some of y'all are definitely entrepreneurs or soon to be entrepreneurs. Some of you guys could be supervisors, managers, influencers. Um, but I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna empower a lot of people, Leo. Literally, especially if you have a platform um, about a relationship. Some of y'all may have been in domestic violence. I'm hearing. Or just dealing with somebody that you had a soul tie to, Leo, that may have broke you down to the point where you lost yourself for a minute. And when you left, you gained your strength back and your confidence back. And, you know, it's like you yourself again. But, yeah, this, this whole reading right here is very empowered, like, for real. Like. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Leo. Y'all be blessed.